Hey guys, Jen here from Maine and Suds and Such and Be Scented. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm making strawberry patch. I've not made strawberry soap in a long time. So that's what we're going to do. I've just mixed up my lye solution. Slow it down. It's pouring a little bit fast. So, I think what I'm going to do, we'll get this all mixed up. Oh, I forgot to get my coconut milk. How you can do it? And there's something right there in my shea butter. Got it. So, what I'm going to do is pause you guys, get this mixed up. I knew I was missing something and get my coconut milk measured out and we'll bring you guys right back. Okay, so I've just poured in my liquid oils after giving them a good buzz. Goodness. You alright? Coughing up lung over there. And with our coconut milk. Now it does accelerate if I remember correctly. So we shall be prepared. That was close. Gonna use a smidgen of oxide and some green apple. Can I do it? Now, I thought it accelerated. Freshly washed. And it's not accelerating. It smells really yummy though. I'll leave that in there for the top. And I'm going to do something.
something that I've not done in a very, 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 very long time. If I can find it. What is that? <laughs> Alright. Here it is. Found it. We're gonna do a mecha line. I'll be moving now. Oh. Oh, gold. You need help with whatever. Is she? I need help. Never mind. Never mind. Oh! Now I really need help. that up later. Hey. I've made a good mess. <laughs> Not just a little one, a really good one. Uh, Alright, so for the top, I need another container. Yeah. Paper towel. Yeah, 
playing dominoes. Well, sort of. I'm not going to put it in the white. not going to put it in the white. I was thinking about it, then I thought, nah. I'm gonna stick one a little bit. You guys, let's try this out. Thank you. a dog outside yelping but it ended up being ours and she was coming inside and uh, pulled herself to the end of her leash and hurt her little leg so we're gonna have to see how she does and see if she is fine in a couple of hours if not you know we'll be going to the vet to see what happened I think she's okay Yeah, I think she's all right, Austin. She'll be okay. So I didn't get to do the top that I was planning, but that's okay. At least I did get the soap in the mold before the fiasco happened. What soap are you doing? Strawberry.
get some glitter on there. Okay, so I thought I would show you unmolding a soap. Now this soap actually is about three days old. I have just not had time with everything that's been going on to um, cut it. So, smells delicious. And with silicone, it's actually best if you let it sit a few days before you unmold it. Just does a whole lot better. Strawberry smells yummy. Alright, so I'm going to get this zoomed in. Let me get this end piece cut off. And then we'll zoom it in. Let's bar up there right. Let me try to find a, some more lighting. Does that look better? Oh, that looks much better. Okay, so let's get this cut and see what we get. How pretty. I'm going to bring this up here so you guys, hopefully, you guys see that mica line? How pretty is that? I love it. And the swirl is really pretty. I just grabbed one of my lamps and plugged it up and brought it over here. Turned out really pretty. The Michael line turned out good. about zooming you guys in just a smidgen more. I like having it zoomed in to where I don't have to really bring the soap up to the camera because it kind of messes up the focus. There's a few little glycerin rivers, but they look really good with the soap design. Last cut of the bars, then I'll trim up the two samples. Thank you for watching. I'll bring you to back on the next video. Yeah.